I'm really not the kind of girl to be eating chicken and broccoli every single day. I like variety. I like eating a little bit of everything. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a grocery, massive grocery store haul. This is like... We spend so much money in the grocery store, don't even ask me how much. I am doing a what I eat in a day video tomorrow, filming that. So, you know, I stocked up on groceries. I'm ready to do my what I eat in a day. And I just want to do this little haul to kind of show you what I buy at the grocery store. Here's a disclaimer. I don't have any dietary restrictions. I am not vegan. I don't eat gluten-free. I eat carbs. I eat like a normal person. So... Yeah, that's all I pretty much wanted to say. To me, it's all about balance. You will see things in here. You will see a lot of butter, a lot of sauce, a lot of sweets. It's all about balance, but I'll go over that more in the what I eat in a day videos. Um, yeah, let's just get started. So we're gonna start off with like the dairy items, I guess. Here we've got some sour cream. We love sour cream. We put it on everything, like everything. I use it in a lot of recipes. I love sour cream so, so, so much. This is why it was easy for me to do a keto diet because all I did was eat sour cream and sauce. Uh, we also have mayo, but we didn't buy it this time. It's already in the fridge. Next, we've got burrata. One of my favorite little go-to meals is making a burrata, burrata, burrata salad. I usually eat this with some basil, some tomatoes, and I put it over a bed of like arugula, olive oil, salt, some balsamic. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so refreshing, especially like on a hot summer day for lunch. It's super good. Got some cheese, my favorite cheese of already, usually for sandwiches or if I'm gonna eat it with crackers as a snack. Some butter, salted, unsalted butter. Eggs, this is a staple, like staple for breakfast. You can make eggs so many ways, fried, scrambled, boiled, over easy, poached, omelet, there's a lot of ways. And then I got these crescent rolls because tomorrow I am making a bomb breakfast. Like, it's so good. I'll show oh you what God. I eat in a day. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the one. So that's good. the one. And I've got yum yum sauce. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yum yum sauce is so good, especially whenever we order Chinese or just any kind of rice. <sighs> Amazing. All right, so now we've got like the meats and the proteins. So I've got here some brown sugar ham it's like a thick cut ham we eat it with our eggs sometimes in the morning so we've got some also turkey breast this is just like deli sliced turkey breast for sandwiches we've got a uh, salmon filet here which we'll be probably making for dinner today bacon mm. i love mm. some bacon chicken not my favorite thing but it is honestly just such an easy like there's so many recipes you can do with chicken and I've got some smoked salmon I am shocked at how little calories smoked salmon has so this whole container this whole container this whole container has 190 calories this is a lot like I don't like I'm not able to eat this whole thing in one go and it, but it's super high in protein 25 grams of protein only 9 grams of fat like it's really not as much as I thought it is kind of high in sodium like a lot but still no carbs at all. It's like pure protein, a little bit of fat, and a whole lot of deliciousness. I've got some peeled garlic. I actually didn't buy this today, but I just wanted to show you guys. This has made my garlic experience so much more enjoyable. I hate peeling garlic. So annoying. It's nice and fresh. Tastes the same. Olive oil, of course. Extra virgin olive oil. Organic. What? That's why our bill came out. It was so expensive. All right, so now let's move on to the greens and the produce section. So now we've got... Some sliced cucumber and some salt and it tastes so good so refreshing we've got baby spinach and baby arugula why are they called babies because they're small it's also good with sandwiches mm -hmm. oh yeah. we, we put these greens in sandwiches as well some tomatoes because i love tomatoes especially for bruschetta basil for when we make bruschetta sometimes we use this on sandwiches i use this for the burrata salad or whatever an avocado that is Hard as a rock, you can probably kill someone with this, but in like two weeks it'll be ripe for about an hour, and then we have to eat it, and that's time for me. I've got, I've got a bunch of spices here, so I got some mint, um, and I'll tell you guys later why I got mint. I've got some dill, I love dill, I use it on a lot of things, like a lot of salads, a lot of dips, I love dill, so I use it quite a lot. 
Got some thyme and some rosemary, and I will tell you why I got this stuff a little bit later. Holy guacamole! We use them in sandwiches, so when we make like turkey sandwiches and stuff, we'll put like a big dollop of guacamole in it. Like we don't eat it. <laughs> a dollop. We got some little peppers, which I'm not really a fan of these. I don't eat them a lot, but Johnny does, so. Some little baby potatoes, so we can make some parm baked garlic potatoes. Pretty good. And it's super easy, because you just throw it in the oven, you put all the ingredients together, and like, it's done. Now for the fruits, some Mayer lemons, and some regular lemons. Mayer lemons are a little bit sweeter. Some oranges, because we're from Florida, so duh. Strawberries, these smell really good. Oh my god, it smells so good. And bananas. We use these a lot for protein shakes, and whenever we make pancakes, sometimes we'll put like, uh, banana slices in the pancakes too. Alright, let's move on to the carbs and the sweets. This is melted already though. No, it's not. So here we've got Talenti Gelato. This one is the mango flavor. I haven't tried it yet, but my favorite one from Talenti is raspberry. It's so, so good. Now we've got the Magna Minis. This is one of my favorite little dessert snacks whenever I'm craving something sweet because they're like the mini size, so they're not the full size Magnums. For me personally, a lot of the times, like the full size um, ice creams, they're just too big. And then I finish them because I already started eating them. So I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm not gonna leave this. And that's just a waste of calories. Like, Why are you doing that? Brazil nuts, these are for Johnny. We've got my desserts. You know, I love my sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth. One of my favorite desserts, it's called Pims. They're like these little biscuits. I love having them like in the morning with tea. Sometimes I wake up and I'm not craving a big breakfast. I literally just want some tea and a little bit of something sweet to eat. Some biscotti. That is flavored. Mm. Some crackers that we don't really eat a lot. It's just like literally whenever I'm I need something fast, I don't have time to prepare something, I'll have some crackers or some cheese. Or whenever we have uh like company over, Earl Grey tea is the bomb. We got some pasta, pesto sauce. This is the best. This is the best pesto sauce of them all. Got some bread for sandwiches mostly. And we got some burger buns because we've got some Bubba burgers in the fridge. If you don't know Bubba, you don't know burgers. Those are the best burgers you will ever have. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the drink. So we've got some sparkling water. Glass because we're trying to avoid plastic, save the turtles. Even though the fruits are in plastic, but whatever. We're doing what we can. Rosé, Moscato, and a, a little Riesling. And now I got some Pims. So... I tried Pim's, I tried Pim's number one cup for the first time in Italy, like two or three weeks ago. It's so funny because it was in Italy, it's a drink from the UK. So all my UK uh, subscribers, all my UK gals watching this, I, I looked up a recipe online for Pim's cup, which is why I got the rosemary, the thyme, the mint. That's why I got the ginger beer, because the recipe calls for ginger beer. But all my UK based gals, please let me know what is the best Pim's cup recipe because I tried to find some online and they were kind of like oh whatever I wasn't sure which one was the best one so I need to know because I'm obsessed with this drink and I'm gonna attempt to I'm gonna attempt to make the cocktail Pim's gonna have you like this Ooh, yeah, oh my god like obviously I'm not starting from scratch when I did these groceries like I have all my spices here I have a bunch of like Condiments for baking. There was already stuff in the fridge. My pantry. Come look at my pantry. Oh my god. My pantry already had stuff like breadcrumbs. So what is? What are those? What? Those aren't ours. These? Reese's. Well, that's your mom. She left them here. What about Sunday people? pancakes? We gotta make Sunday pancakes. <laughs> mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. This is actually a pretty good protein source. Like, okay, let me tell you. One serving by their standards has 330 calories, which is not bad, and 14 grams of protein. Because of all the cheese, that's pretty good. I was shocked when I saw how much protein like mac and cheese has. What about the tuna? <laughs> what about the tuna and the sardines? I fucking hate tuna. We have some stuff in the fridge. Actually, the fridge is pretty empty. I'm really not the kind of girl to be eating chicken and broccoli every single day. I like variety. I like eating a little bit of everything. You can eat broccoli and that's it and still gain weight. You would have to eat a lot of broccoli. But the point I'm trying to say is that all these things that people think are like, oh, I can't have mayo and I can't have cheese and butter. Like those things are all fine. Just don't overdo it. Eat everything in moderation. There's a thousand calories in just, just these nuts. Thing. And some people eat this like as a snack. Obviously, this advice applies to you if you're trying to lose weight and lose fat. If you're trying to just gain muscle and gain the booty gain, don't even worry about this. Focus on being in a caloric surplus. Get your protein. Eat up. But 
a lot of people, their concern is kind of keeping the weight off, the extra weight, and staying in a healthy weight level. So yeah, just be mindful of little things. So there's a lot of little creepy foods like this that have secretly blood calories. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long. It's probably long as fuck. And I'll see you next time. What? What do you mean?